the power. This mag. What's up, family? It's Too Cool TB representing Powered by Vibes, and I'm back with another episode of Artist Discovery. Today, we're gonna feature a song from an artist called. Anise, I should have looked up how to pronounce that. Featuring Kevin Spears. This one has a little bit of preferential treatment for being featured because it was recommended to me from my boy, Pretty Boy Paco. Pretty Boy Paco. The keyboard player from the Professor T Funk Academy Band. And it features his cousin, Kevin Spears. And this is a rapper that I can't find much information on. We're going to go ahead and check out this song. It's called Too Good To Be True. So without any further ado, let's put it on and listen to it. And we'll talk about it after we hear it together. You got me so this was produced by Kevin Spears, which is pretty dope. I've been dope. thinking when I'm up late at night about you. You got me up late at night. I've been thinking, I've been thinking when I'm up late at night is true. But I know that you, yeah. You come through on nights where it all seems right. It's just too good to be true. It's always okay. too good to be true with you. Cause you had me bring it's in that like I had plans to suburban rap give you everything type of lane. Girl, and I so time just like to it. get high on our memories, girl. It was me against the world, baby. I loved our eyes, but it was just a facade. You let me love a mirage. If you knew that it wasn't true, girl, then why would you steal my time from me? It's why you got me up late at night. I've been thinking, I've been thinking when I'm up late at night about you. You got me up late at night. I've been thinking, I've been thinking when I'm up late at night is true. Painting pictures more vivid than all the so lights. This is the feature place. right here. Ponder images of only your face. Right, Writing scriptures like Christians with on? good intentions. Like Cause I'm preaching about like the miracles you buy me each day. This. If I had a penny for every time wait, 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 you wait, run wait. up my right. mind, I could buy anything except for your time. Cause you don't even want mine. And trust me, baby, that's fine. That's why you got me up late at night. I've been thinking, I've been thinking when I'm up late at night about you. You got me up late at night. I've been thinking, I've been thinking when I'm up late at night. It's true, but I don't it hits that note though. You come through on right, nights where it all seems right. It's just too good to be true. It's always too good. That's a nice like acoustic sounding drums coming in on that part. It's why you got me up late at night. I've been thinking, 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 I've been Okay. That's the end. That's all it is to it. Let's bring it back to my beautiful face. All right. My first reactions to it, I think it's a pretty dope song. You know, I understand why this guy has a, such a following because, you know, like, that's definitely like what the kids like. That's like in that kind of like Swayze type of lane right there you know it's like it's more approachable hip-hop music you know it's like you can listen to hip-hop but you don't have to listen to scary black people doing it so that's kind of tight i like the, the sound <laughs> i'm leaving that in because i know people will get a laugh out of that a few people will but yeah, i like that i think it's kind of tight i think that um i like the voice i think there's a lot of really good vocal sounds i like the harmonies that they had 
The singing was really, really good. Production on the beat sounded pretty good to me. So all around, I thought this was a pretty well done song. I thought everybody's vocal performance was great. Got some like, some J. Cole vibes from it a little bit. Mac Miller type beat. I don't know, cause I'm really not up on that. <laughs> but yeah, it sounds good to me, bro. I like it. It sounds real wavy to me. Um, so that was my reaction to it. That's the first reaction. Um, critique section of the review. I don't really know if I necessarily have any critiques for it. I guess if anything, I would critique maybe on the instrumental, just um, at the end when like it exploded. I just didn't like the sound of like that, uh, the bass sound that you had going. I'm not sure if like if that was a modulated 808 kick or if that was a synth, but there was just something about that I didn't feel, feel like blended into the beat very well. But that's the only really critique that I have, and that's pretty high level when we're talking about like specific sounds that you're using, you know. That's all I got for critiques. Other than that, I think everybody killed it on this one. You know, the, you guys had some great vocals. The beat sounded good. The little guitar part of the beat, I'm not sure if that was actually playing the guitar and looping it over or how that was done, but it sounded great. So, yeah, I liked it. Cool. That's all I had to say on this one. You know, I got to... I have less to say when something is good. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess without any further ado, let's go ahead and rank this one under Power by Vibes. Kill for chart. That was a loud one. We're going to see how this stacks up against the other music that I've reviewed thus far. Okay. I really regret not looking up how you pronounce that the right way. Anise, is that how you say it? It's, it's only Anise, 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 something like that. But what would I rank it? The Billboard chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song. This is a chart of recommendations that's given out at the end of the year. Make sure you visit thepowersback.com and check out the chart for 2021. The top three from last year were really, really good. This chart would be used in the same way. I'm kind of struggling with where I want to place this one. I'm just going to put it where I think it should go and not say anything. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm feeling number seven for this one. So now for my rationale, we're putting it at number seven. We're gonna briefly discuss the song above and the song below it. Song above it, Caroline Polachek, Billions. That song was this year's Ringer. So that's a song from an already established artist that I review and we compare what we're doing to that song. Uh, that one, I think, is a little bit above this one just because I felt like that song is a little bit further out there. It was more, but it was more willing to take more risks sonically than I feel like this one did. And also, I feel like that's what it is. It's just kind of the overall aesthetic and ability to take risk and execute on that song puts it above this one a little bit for me and then like the next one above that one is not a ringer from christy k i just feel like it's tough because it ain't really anywhere between five and seven is where i would rank this song but you know i just kind of had to make a decision i gotta just put it somewhere and stick with it so i'm gonna stick with number seven and not go any higher just because it's a list of recommendations I just get a feeling like if I go much higher than this, at the end of the year, I might not be happy with myself. So we'll have to see because it's not going to change. Sometimes I go back and move things around as the year progresses. Plus, it's also tough this early in the year because of the fact that I don't have many songs to compare it to. So it's right above Sapphire Rose song for me. That was a really, really good song. However, I feel like this one, in terms of if it's recommendations, because it's got like a sound that's incredibly popular right now. It's got a sound that's very accessible and a lot of kids like. I feel like this has to go above that one a little bit. So that's what my ranking is right now. I'm going to leave it at number seven. That's a really good ranking. Put above some other really good songs. This year, for the most part, everybody's really been knocking it out of the park. I mean, looking at this list... 
there's really only like a couple of them that I think would be a hard sell for people to listen to. I was like last year where, you know, it was kind of a little difficult. Just people have been stepping it up this year. I've had a lot more recommendations. It amazes me just how much talent that you see that's out there that's at this level. So with all that being said, bring it back to my beautiful face. So we're gonna close this one out. So let's bring it to the segment. If you're watching, so to a niece, that's a Kevin Spears. If you guys are watching, I would say you guys are doing some great music. Keep up the great work. You know, I understand why, you know, a niece has a big following. This is a really great sound right now that a lot of people like. Hip hop is super popular. Like I said, I said that kind of in a tongue in cheek way, but it it is kind of true to be honest with you. Like how we're expanding the hip hop sound so much that now it's not just like hard music. Like now we have stuff like this that's a little bit more introspective, a little more vulnerable sounding. And, you know, we're including more like singer songwriter sounding type sounds and instrumentals like with the guitar like that. And it's really, really interesting to just see how, you know, it, that's evolving over time. So I, I like what you guys are doing. I like this particular song and I can't wait to hear some more of what both of you guys do. So we'll be watching you guys. We'll see what you guys do. We never know. We might both of you guys have like people that should be featured on the power by vibes written all over you so we'll see hopefully maybe we can get an interview in 2022 with um both of you great so we'll close things out because that's really all i got to say to a knees to kevin spears so my boy pretty boy paco and to all the fans out there that might check it out I hope that you guys all take some time to check out other videos on this channel from the Artist Discovery series. Check out our other interviews and reviews here and also on thepowerisback.com. And also be sure to check out our monthly playlist, which I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to feature this song on the monthly playlist for this month, for April. So make sure you guys check out the monthly playlist that's updated every month. And make sure you take out time to support local music. So, to everybody watching, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song, and I hope that all of you did, too. Let's spread nothing but peace and love to all of you, and I will see you on the next review. The, 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 the power is back.